Hey everyone, welcome back to Sovereign Chill, I'm Kev. Yes, today, I'm excited. I have no idea what is going to go on, but I think the shit is going to hit the fan. You know. After the last episode, finding out what is going to happen forward, then hearing the name of this one, I'm guessing there's going to be a, a fight. Uh, and there's a lot of history behind this fight. I cannot wait. This is episode 8 of season 4 Game of Thrones, The Mountain and the Viper. <laughs> We all know how Tyrion was in a little bit of, uh, uh, of uh, shit, shall we say. He needed someone to stand up. Um, I thought it was going to be Jamie, but Jamie's decided uh, that he, well, it's not that he's decided, he's, he, he has to go back to Castle Rock and uh, knock out loads of little Jamies to keep his dad happy. So I didn't know what was going to happen here. Um, Oberyn Martell has, uh, has stepped forward for our Tyrion as his champion, and he is going to take on the Mountain. This, what, what a fight. We haven't seen Oberyn fight yet, so I'm expecting him to be pretty, uh, 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 like, impressive. But uh, I don't know, I just can't, I don't know. I, I'm literally kind of, like, really excited and on the fence with this one, because it's called the, the Mountain and the Viper, so they're obviously going to have a scrap. Um, we all know, um, for those of you who, who know the histories and I uh, watched the kind of like the, the history and the law of season one, we know what happened to uh, Oberyn Martell's sister. The mountain, unfortunately, did away with her. And not just a nice way, a very, very gruesome way as well. There was, uh, yeah. Um, so, there's a lot of hatred between this, between um, Oberyn Martell and the mountain. So, I'm hoping if if I could choose, I want Oberyn Martell to win. Obviously, because of the history, it would be pretty harsh if all the way like through, you know, he's been wanting to get revenge for his sister who was like brutally killed, and then he gets I, he gets killed off the mountain as well. That would be pretty brutal. But I don't know because I I I, I just don't know. So I just can't wait. I can't wait. You have to let me know in the comment section what you thought of this one. Were you excited to see it? Were you, did it work out how you thought it was going to work out? Was it shocking? Um, I don't know, but I will have a little chat with you at the end because I'm sure I'm going to get to see this fight. Uh, thank you so much for being here and watching this. Um, I have had a little bit of trouble trying to get them out because as you are probably aware, I've been putting a lot of this onto YouTube and they keep getting banned. So it's a little bit shit for me. Unfortunately, what I'm going to have to do is uh, is uh, is probably make it a Patreon exclusive, uh, just so I can kind of start putting out regular ones for you Patreons as well. So, um, yeah, unfortunately for the YouTube people, uh, it's gonna have to be Patreon ex uh, exclusive. It's just because every time I put one out, it gives it a couple of days, and then it, uh, like the copyright police come along and say, oh, after a manual review, this is this and this is that, and it's been taken down and blocked worldwide, uh, and it's just it's 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 really affecting the channel uh the amount that i can put out uh, and stuff like that so as you're probably aware that that's probably not good for the channel so i'll have to find something else to put on for youtube which doesn't get uh, as much copyright yeah anyway with that being said again if you're new to the channel please hit the like button and subscribe it really does help the channel also we do put the full length reactions to this over on the patreon there's a link below if you want to watch the full length stuff, it's up to you. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. I'm drinking Lucas Aid. Other refreshments are available, people. Like a level of excitement that, I, because I've seen the law, like you say, I've been, I, I watched that. <clears throat> I know that there's a, um, like the history that's behind this, it's it's really really crucial. I haven't even spoke about anything else that's going on. There's there's loads of other shit going on in Westeros at the moment, but this is like because it's it seems to be all built around this one, you know, the mountain and the viper. I kind of can't think of anything else so far. We'll talk about other stuff later. It's it's been very very tough get to get these out on YouTube at the moment. I don't know why. I know there's a lot of other channels that slide through in the final, but for some reason, some certain channels get kind of like zoned in on. And I just turned into an absolute little monster as well. She's hellish. <laughs> I'm just having a little bit of fun against the wall in the in, but it stinks as shit out of there. Ugh. It's not very romantic. Here we 
Yeah. Fancy a smooch, love? Just stop stand, standing in that piece of shit, will you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, she's classy. Fucking death. She's a classy bird. Baby was crying this morning. Oh. Oh, there, yes. I forgot there. Wipe me up. Shut up, man. Leave her alone. You got anything to say? Yeah, shut up, you slag. Keep that baby quiet. Oh, I will. Oh. Don't you ever touch him. You should have stayed with your own car. Oh. <gasps> you listen to me. Shut your mouth. That's wilding. It's just an hour you've done. It's bitch. not. No, it's not. It's a wilding attack. Goodbye. <laughs> yep, the nut she knew. She could tell by the sound of the owl. <laughs> oh, chap chopped. Oh, <laughs> his egret. Oh, Timmy loves killing people. Oh, no more sexy time for you. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> oh, take that. Oh, it's the fourth time she's been speared today. <laughs> Go on, Ingrid. Just shut it, please. <gasps> oh, I love Ingrid. Oh, my God, look at all that claret coming through the ceiling. Oh, there's piss, shit, and blood. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what a party. I should never have left her there. Oh, he's going to think she's dead? Bye. We just cower in here while they slaughter our brothers. Well, can't go after them, you know that. Oh, look at Sam, man. He's absolutely gutted. She survived Craster, and he was the worst shit I've ever met. She might have got out. That's good, brothers. See, there we go, he's starting to believe he's for it. That's what he needed. Wow. She's beautiful. Does she like it? No. Well, I don't see why it matters. Grey Worm isn't interested. None of the unsullied care what's under our clothes. He was interested. What? I believe he was interested. So her and Grey Worm going to start getting like a little bit of a, a thing going on. Because that's what you'd think. You'd think once you'd been castrated, you would, uh, you'd kind of, you'd lose that kind of feeling of, I don't know, maybe sexual desire, maybe. But he seemed to have a little bit of, he definitely had some desire there. Do you remember the name you were given at birth? Bob. I remember nothing. I'm sorry they did that to you. Why? Why sorry? It's a terrible thing. They're going to fall in love. I can smell it. I never oh. had chosen to lead the unsullied. It's his purpose in life. Never meet Miss Sunday from the island of North. Oh, he's in love with her already. All of that, he's happy because it's led him right to her. <gasps> wow, he's totally in love with her. She fancies a bit of Grey Worm, but he doesn't have the bit. <laughs> Poor Grey Worm. What's he going to do? I am sorry. Oh, he's very fierce and loyal, isn't he? I like Grey Worm like he's a boy, or. Ooh! Give him a bit of an olive branch there, didn't she? I'm glad you saw us out. Glad you were perving on us, mate. <laughs> yes! Go on, my Sunday! Dirty little minx. Grey Worm, what's he gonna do? What's, how, how are they gonna. How are they gonna. I don't know. Kraken, as long as they're in the sea. When you take them out of the water, no bone. Reeks annoying the fuck out of me. Tell them. Looks like you should be in Lord of the Rings, though. Beyond Greyjoy. He definitely could have, like, been Frodo Baggins' stunt double. So it's like almost like you go back as Theon, but really you reek and I, and I own you and I control you. Oh my god, all the dead bodies rotten in that. Pfft, but it fucking stinks. <coughs> oh, I fucking love this show, it is so good. And you say you're Theon Greyjoy? Yes. I was born on Pike to bail on Greyjoy. Why are you marching with the Bolton army? Lord Bolton took me captive after Winterfell. He has sent me to treat with you in good faith. Lord Bolton implores you to protect your men and abandon this fortress you can no longer hold. And he'll save your life. He will be yeah. just and fair with you as he has been with me. They're gonna kill everybody. The Iron Bone will not surrender. Where in hell are you muttering? 
Oh. They've killed him, and then they're gonna they're gonna say, right, we'll do what you're saying, son. If we yield, we live. Have your men raised the white flag and open the gates? They're not. They're all fucking dead. And oh my god, he's a bitch. There we go. You're dead. Really think I'd let them go, did you? Oh, look at that. Ah, it's brutal. That like the father fled them as well. The traditions are important. He's fled them all. That's awful. That was always going to happen. Do you really think he's going to let them go? They're going to walk in and say, "All right, lads, cheers for uh, opening the gates with the right flags," and now we going home. Toodles. Lady Aaron often told me that you were a rock. He's a proper slippery slag, isn't he? She told Trying to get off with like with Sansa and that. But I didn't need to hear from her. Money lender. It's like she's far too young. In licking Tywin Lannister's boots so oh. long as a wonder your tongue's not black. <laughs> oh, when John and Lady Aaron invited me. She and I have been close. She was an odd fish. Everyone knew that. But she wouldn't kill herself. But suicide. I don't see her abandoning him. Not by choice. Girl with no learning and scattered wits, I assure you she would be of no help. We'd like to speak with her. <gasps> oh, Sansa has to do the job. We prefer to hear her testimony unadulterated. Yes. Do you know, I'd, I'd like her to just dob him in. So, oh, she, he pushed her through and then he has to... He has to do the business. He has to get done for it. Speak up, girl. You're not a damn kitchen mouse. Tell us what you saw. Shut up, man. Bell end. I, I have to tell the truth. <gasps> Please, Alain. Oh, Bellish is fucked. My name's not Elaine. Sansa Stark, eldest daughter of Lord Eddard Stark. Sansa Stark? You tell lies right to my face, you little worm. <laughs> Lord Baelish has told many lies, all to protect me. Ah. Beat me, they humiliated me, they married me to the imp. I had no friends in King's Landing. And he saved my life. Except one. Baelish. Slag. He saved me. Oh, she might end... Smuggled me away when he had the chance. She might end up marrying him, you know? Tell us what happened to your aunt, Sansa. She's going, she's going to say she committed suicide. You knew her well, my lords, my lady. She always loved Lord Baelish. Boy of eight, carrying everything he owned in a little sack. Heh, <laughs> in his little sack. Confess to me, she never loved Lord Arryn. My aunt was a jealous lady. One day, she saw him kiss me. It is Sansa. It was a peck on the cheek, Lord Royce, nothing more. Lord Baelish is my uncle now, in truth, by marriage. Oh, he's getting away with this, you know. He's always been so kind to me. Sansa, he tried to fuck you, man. She said she didn't want to live anymore. She stood on the edge of that moon door. Stepped through those doors and she was... She is brilliant. She's brilliant and... Uh, do you know what? She's going to take... She's going to look up at Baelish. And Baelish is just going to have a proper little smirk on his Chevy Chase. Because he's going to be like, Arkham Minip, you're brilliant. Yeah, look at that. She's going to look at him. <gasps> there might be a match, you know. They're both as slippery as each other. Him from her own Whoa, Sansa. Royce, this is hardly the time. What the fuck? You want justice, Lord Royce. I can hardly complain about that. I wonder what happens to Baelish. I reckon he's going to meet a, gru a gruesome end sometime in this show. Because I don't like him. Watched from the corner, a timid boy at a tavern brawl. I don't like him. He's like a slippery slut. I want to know which side you're on. Who would you have us back, Lord Baelish? Rob Stark? Yes. Dead. I'd have you back. Rob and Aaron. The back. Like, at least the northern. I adored Lysa. Time for him to tour the Vale, to visit all the castles in his domain. Time for Robin to leave the nest. Become a man. The, he's an absolute lunatic though, the little one. He's a fucking absolute screwball. Oh, there's Grey Worm. Grey Worm still perven. So Barry's done. Yes. Who sent you? Barrison. Ooh, it's the hand of the king. Come on, what's happening, Sir Barrison? Have I forgotten a council meeting? No. What's this? A royal pardon. Oh! Signed by Robert Baratheon. Robert Baratheon? How? So when the fuck did the... He's been... Rob's been dead for a while? You spied on her. Oh, <gasps> shit. 
she's going to fucking go bananas when she finds out that Jorah was spying on her. Have you told her? I wanted to tell you first, rather than go behind your back. It's going to cost so much shit. He's going to say, don't tell her. He's going to kill him. Let me speak with her in private. You'll never be alone with her again. Whoa. Oh my God, Danny's going to fucking flip out. It's like her most trusted advisor. I mean, we all know that he did do that. Oh, here we go. She's going to kick off. She's going to be fucking gutted. Oh, they're stepping forward. Why did the usurper pardon you? If we could speak alone. No. No more. Speak to me here. Explain it to me. She's not looking sad. This is the work of Tywin Lannister. If we're fighting each other, we're not fighting him. The pardon was signed the year we met. You caught met? It is not forged. He's been honest. Why then? When you and Viserys arrived in Pentos, his plan to marry you to Khal Drogo. You told them I was carrying Drogo's child? I am. Yes or no? Calisa. Don't call me that. Did you tell them I was carrying Drogo's child? Yes. Yes. You are fucked. That wine merchant tried to poison me because of your information. I stopped you from drinking his wine. You betrayed me. Oh shit, she's so loyal. From the first. <laughs> Forgive me. Nope. <gasps> I never met. Look at that face. I think he's, he's being honest. Forgive. You sold my secrets to the man who killed my father I and stole my you brother's throat. You want you. me killed to for forgive you. you. I have loved you. Love. I can't. I can't do it. Love. How can you say that to me? Go back to your masters in King's Land and collect your pardon if you can. Yes, please. Don't ever presume to touch me again or speak my name. You're found in Marine past break of day. I'll have your head thrown into Slaver's Bay. Go. Fucking bye. Now. Oh, the thing is, she's gonna. She, she's putting on a massive front here, you know. Massive front. The minute Jara fucks off, she doesn't even. She doesn't even dare look at him. She's like looking up over him. She'll go out the back and a heart will fucking break. The one person she could rely on, it's gonna snap Danny in half that. It was always gonna come back on him though, you fucking slippery slag. It's, he, he did, he sold the secret. I mean, and then obviously we realized we know what he did. It just so happened it's come out now and they are trying to separate them. Mode Kaelin is yours, father. Fuck with me. I hate him anyway. Fuck Has there been any word from Locke? Fucking killed Rob, didn't he? Dead, most likely. The Lannisters send their regards. Fuck off! Still haven't got over that. Don't think I ever will. Ramsay Snow. No, not Ramsay Snow. What? Open it. He's given him a proper title. You are Ramsay Bolton. <gasps> Son of Bruce Bolton, Warden of the North. Wow. That's what he's been giving him for what he's done. Yep. You honor me. You, you're a fucking dick, I hate you. I swear I will uphold your name. I will be worthy of you, father. Yeah. Very, very good acting. He plays a dickhead really well. <laughs> he plays a really bad, evil little shit really well. So, he's, uh, I wish Ned had done that for John. Look at the smile on his fucking Chevy. <laughs> on his Chevy. Yeah. I need a bath, so I'm going to get you to do it. Oh my god, why isn't it just like, just piss off? <laughs> Sometimes a little thing can make me laugh. Got a weird imagination. It's probably the Lucas head off me nut. First time I saw you, you were just a child. Ugh, it's even worse. I've come to the capital for the first time. Why did you help me? They would have thrown you through the moon door if they found you guilty. You think you know me? Don't weasel your way in. You don't know him at all. He's a fucking dirty bastard. <gasps> Do you? The little smile. I thought it'd make me happy. I know what you want. But it doesn't. Not really. Well. I wanted to see the look in his eyes when he knew it was over. Nothing in the world beats that look. You protected him for most of his life. You think you could have saved him? Little shit deserved to die, but... <laughs> poison. Poison's a woman's weapon. You won't have to walk too much further. You really think my aunt will pay for me? Aye, she'll pay. She's at the airy? Oh! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. 
You're our blood. All you lords and ladies ever talk about. Who would pass the bloody gate? Me, you dickhead. The bloody hound. Traveling companion. Arya Stark. Lady Aaron died. Shit. Three days ago. He's not gonna get paid, but then again, Sansa's there. Sansa's there. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's she laughing for? Lord of the Vale. The right outside. Get together. She said it's not safe outside. Everybody dies sooner or later. Worry about your life. Take charge of your life for as long as it lasts. He's dead, and they're gonna take over the veil. Vale. She's still a descendant. Uh. Shall we go? Wine always helps. All right, this has got to be it now. It's got to be it. There's only like 13 minutes left of this episode, people. So there's got to be a fight. By having two other men hack each other to pieces. <laughs> the Red Viper of Dawn. You don't get a name like that unless you're deadly, right? Never seen him fight. The thing is, I've got to say, I think Oberyn's going to win. Because then he survives. I'm not losing T Tyrion. Fantasize, suicide. Wash your hands aside. There is no word for cousin killing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing made him happier. Nothing made you happier. Laughing at another person's misery was the only thing that made me feel like... Crack and scar that like. Don't war thin though. Is this not like... This better not be a goodbye. Why was he smashing all those beetles? Why did he get out of it? I wasn't deterred. I think this could be a goodbye. I think... The person I knew, certainly either wherewithal... It's starting to get a little bit tense, this. The heart of a moron. Because I'm re trying to read between the lines. Men watch animals to come to a deeper understanding of their behaviour. I became more and more sure of it. Who gives a dusty fuck about a bunch of beetles? I know. <laughs> a dusty fuck? Until that mule kicked him in the chest and killed him. Oh, killed him? Why did he do it? I don't know. We've got seven minutes? What the fuck's gonna happen in seven minutes? Please fight. Please fight. Yes, they're gonna fight. Oh, they are. He's going out. <sighs> Starting to get a little bit nervous here because a lot of the, a lot rides on this. Oh, this is big, gonna be a big moment, I feel. Today is not the day I die. Oh. Jesus, look at the size of that blood, man. You're going to fight that? I'm going to kill that. Don't know. Literally, I'm like I'm the biggest man I've ever. I'm on the fence. It does not matter when you are flat on your back. We gather to ascertain the guilt or innocence of this man, huh? Tyrion Lannister. Don't leave me alone in this world. Never. Oh, calm down, son. I think he's going to die because because he's doing that. <laughs> oh my God! But just because you did that, I think you're going to die. But then if he dies, Tyrion dies. I tell you who I am. Some dead man. <laughs> the brother of Elia Martel. And do you know why I've come all the way to this stinking shit pile of a city? To kill you. For you? <laughs> oh. You raped my sister. You killed her children. Say it now and we can make this quick. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's whacked his helmet off. Say it. You murdered her. Well, Martel might win this, you know. Oh, he's really uh, torturing him. I think I, Ma Martel might die here, you know, because he's been too cocky. Ooh, shit, you're in trouble now, son. He's very good, I'll give him that. Oh. If he gets a hold of you, you're in so much trouble, though. Oh! Oh, he's getting angry. Oh! He might kill him? He's gonna kill him? You killed her children! Oh! He's won! Is there a twist? You can't die yet, you haven't confessed. Something's gonna happen. Get nervous. Say her name. Elia Mart. He could have just stabbed him and it's over. Do the order. You killed her children! Just kill him! Say it. Kill him now, he's gonna get him. He's gonna grab him. Say it! Oh, that's. He's got him! <coughs> oh my god, he's knocked all his teeth out of one bat. 
He's fucking gonna kill him. Elia Martel. No! Ah! Killed her children. Oh fuck! Ah! Get like this! Holy fucking shit! Tyrion Lannister. In the name of King Tommen of the House Baratheon, first of his name, you are hereby sentenced to death. Oh my god, look, there's no music at the end. Oh, there is. A little bit, okay. We're gonna circle back. Okay, so. Sansa! <laughs> Sansa uh, is, is showing a bit of a, a, a different side to her. She's maybe she's taken after um, Baelish a little bit. Maybe she's watched Baelish in action a few times, so she's kind of like starting to get to know how to be a little bit slippery. Um, did she do it to, to curry favor? Did she do it because, like she said, did she do it because she wanted to protect herself? And if they were willing to throw him through the the door. Sorry, then uh, what? If they wouldn't throw him through the door, then what would they be willing to do to her? I don't think so. Um, I think the look that she's given, and then she walked down the stairs and she's all dressed. Like, almost like a lady, like, of the house. Maybe. Maybe she's kind of, like, getting on side with Baelish. I can't see her sleeping with Baelish, though. Wow. But, ah, uh, yeah is literally outside. They could say, uh, Lice has passed away, but, you know, Lord Baelish is in here with Sansa Stark. And then Arya goes, it's me sis. And they go in, have a hug, and, the, and they've met each other again. Like, they've all been split up for ages. Like, I, like I can't wait for them to start meeting and seeing each other again. Like, God, they've all gone to different parts. Sansa and Arya have been split up since the dad died. Shit, man, that would be mint. Oh, that would be really meant for them to, to see each other. Like, I like a good reunion, so that would be fun. Okay, we have to talk about that. Yes. I kind of was jumping between what I thought was going to happen. I knew that they had a fight to the death. That big chat at the end seemed like a, like a, between Jamie and Tyrion did seem like almost like a goodbye. At first it didn't. But then as it went, it kind of started to, and I was like, oh no, this seems like a goodbye to me, and I don't like that. Um, and and then Oberyn, was, he was fighting really, really well, but it became more like a show, more like a spectacle, more like a, you, like instead of just, this is the fight, I'm going to kill you, that's it. That's it, he shouldn't have gone like, I want you to confess. He knew, he knew he did it, and why confess? Just fucking kill him. He had him, had him down fought really really well and all he had to do was go right okay down you go smack 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 right on his coconut over job done oh my god instead he got he, he yeah he did get the confession and the confession was the last thing he heard before his fucking head got squashed ah that was vicious absolute vicious eyes in and then i smashed the head just like this <coughs> his fucking whole head imploded wow that was absolutely brutal so She's going to have to quick... Uh, that last he's saying is going to have to do a sharp exit very quickly. Today is not when I die. And then just had his fucking head squashed. Ugh. Tyrion? I can't see Tyrion dying, though. He's too much of a big part of the show. But then again, so was Rob. Can't see him getting out of this one, though. Unless, like, Jamie lets him, like, lets him out. No, I can't see it. I can't see him dying, but I can't see him getting out of it. It's a, it's a very, very tough one, this. Leave in the comment section what that end sequence there made you feel. How did it make you feel? Was it as shocking as, as it was for me? Watching his head explode? I, I don't know. There's something about Oberyn. He was a very, very good character. Um... Dressed really smart, like he's a good-looking bloke, do you know what I mean? And he's like, he was always like nice and like well-spoken and like elegant. And like he always dressed nice and he was a very good fighter. And and like, I just didn't expect his head to get fucking imploded by the mountain. And <laughs> it was proper brutal. So yeah, that was quite quite a shocking end to that uh, eighth episode. 
I loved it though. <laughs> There's something very sadistic about that, about loving that. I just want to, like, it's it's left this open. There's a few episodes left of the season. It's going to get entertaining. It's very, very good. It's going to get very entertaining. Uh, thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be um, upping the amounts that I've seen. Uh, I mean, I know I got to a stage where um, I was putting a few, like, three out a week. I'm going to have to get back to that to start putting more out. Uh, so that's, that's the, there's going to be a lot more of these coming out, just to let you know. Uh, yeah. Thank you, like I've said, for watching. If you're new to the channel and you go, oh, he's strange, but I'll watch. Um, I'll, I'll put a playlist down here somewhere. I'll also put a subscribe button up there if you want to click and then follow along. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all very, very soon for episode 9. <laughs>